Rebecca must now meet her challenge. She's going to pose as an ad exec, looking for young footballers to star in a commercial and will have to face the whole of a football team in Victoria, London. <laughs> and use hard work. I know. It's all in, it's be all in the mind. Be absolutely honest, Mick. Do you think I'm the manly? Do I think you're what? Manly. Manly? Uh, mm, well, I need to see the whole thing on. With nerves causing doubt to creep in, there's just time for a quick session with Louise to work on Rebecca's Achilles heel, the voice. Okay, so you're Rodney from now on, okay? Rodney. Okay, Rodney. Rodney. So you're going to introduce yourself, mm -hmm. you're going to say to the coach, OK, let's see them warm up. Then you're going to say, OK, let's see some penalty shots. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm Rodney. Yeah. I'm an ad exec. I'm working on an ad campaign. Yeah. About footballers. Yeah. I want to see what you've got. OK. So I was just going to watch them play football. Rodney, you're an ad exec. So stupid. Rodney. Dave Suddenly, Rodney. Rebecca's nerves are making her petulant. This is fucking wank. It's fucking shit. Fucking sorry. Oh, I don't. Do, wanna... Can't just speak to the coach. Well, speak to the coach, but coach. But again, it's if you're in control, okay. you've got to talk. Who piss shit wank? Who piss shit wank? Unfortunately, time has run out for Rebecca, and her voice will have to do. Scott Jackson. She definitely looks like a man, but now it's up to her to sound like a man. Hello, Hello fellas. Yeah. Right. Well, do you want to tell them what I'm doing? Doing an ad campaign, I'm looking for a bit of talent for a sports ad. She's over the first hurdle. Now she just has to take control and start the casting session. Terry, could we see a bit of warming up? Yeah. Good, nice. Yeah. He's alright, he's good. Good. Got some good players there. Got some good talent. Terry, can I maybe see one at a time doing a few skills? Yep. So far, she's only best. talked to the coach. Will she find the courage to start interacting with the boys? Good. It's very good. She's failing to take any control of the situation. With her confidence going, how will she turn it around? See there now. Right, can we go and talk outside? You and me. No, let's go and talk outside. It looks like she's going to throw the towel in. <laughs> I just need a moment because I'm going to cry. If I cry, this stuff is going to come off. Just give me a moment. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. I'm not going back in there. I'm not. I'm not. Oh my god. Is she going to pull out? Right, why can't I just interact with the coach on his own? Why can't I just have a chat with him? Darren Day got to just trick one person. I've got to trick a whole team of people here. Well, bring one of the players out and have a chat with him and pretend like I picked him. I go sit somewhere and you bring one of the players down as if I've picked him and I'll have a bit of a chat with him on our own. Why do I have to go and do it in front of 20 fucking people? Let's do that, yeah. Let's do that. At least, finally, she'll actually interact with one of the boys. All right. Yeah. What's your name? My name? 
Garth and Miss Noel. How old are you? I'm 17. Would you like to be in an ad? For what? For a football. Oh. A football campaign. Oh, no. Is that all right? It's fine. Yeah, it's all right. Even in a one-on-one, -on -one, it's an absolute disaster. I'm not doing it anymore. Can't do it. Oh, no. Bye, I'm just having a moment on my own now. Oh. What happened? What happened? Oh, it's just not easy. I don't know, whatever. I'm over it. <laughs> I don't know, they're all like screaming abuse and joking and laughing and staring and, you know, I do not look like a man. Rebecca may have had no faith in her appearance, but the boys tell a different story. I was convinced it was a man, yeah, definitely. To start with, yeah. Heard their, their voice and I thought, looked around, I couldn't see a woman, I was a bit baffled. I thought it was a man, but he was speaking as a woman. I, was, I didn't even know if Rebecca lose that, like, I was just completely baffled. I do not look like a man. Look at me, fucking up. I'd fucking be pissing myself if someone that looked like me walked into the room and said they were doing an ad campaign. It's just not believable. We're going to have to think of another challenge. That is believable. This is not believable. It's my opinion. Yes. So, what we're going to do? Rebecca's first challenge is a total failure. She'll have to dramatically step things up if she is to stand any chance in her next challenge. It's a week later, and it's time for Rebecca to face the music again. Can she regain her confidence in the team and find her inner male voice? Only time will tell. I think just everything went wrong last time. The circumstances, the place we were in, the room was too small, I had different people. She's blamed everybody except herself, but it's only by improving her performance that she stands any chance of success. This time, the challenge is even tougher. She's got to fool her flatmate, a really close friend who she's known for years, into thinking she's a builder. Hi, Rodney Scott Jackson. Sounds like you. Mm, OK. Hi, Rodney Scott Jackson here to measure. Sounds like you. Oh, fucking hell. That's all right. Fuck! Can you... Oh, my put... God. We always go all so far and everything goes fine. Then there's the fucking voice. Can you... Can't probably just have a fucking woman's voice. That's the problem, it sounds like you. There's only an hour left before she has to face her flatmate. So can Rebecca manage to pull herself together in time? Oh, I'm getting really nervous now. <laughs> it's a tough challenge and Rebecca has a lot to prove. The flat has been rigged with hidden cameras that are operated from a control room. With these in place, her flatmate will have no clue she is being filmed or that anything out of the ordinary is happening. As far as Anna is concerned, it's just another normal day. As far as Rebecca is concerned, this is make or break. All right, I'm Rodney. It's a splashback, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right, what do you want? What, glass, steel? Well, I don't know. I, my flatmate has already given the, um, the details, so I don't know... I don't know what she... I think it's glass, but... Um... Mm. Oh, will you give us a hand? Just uh, mm, hold that there. So far, Rebecca seems to be pulling it off. Well, you make us a cup of tea. Sorry? Do you make us a cup of tea? Um, sure. Milk, four sugars, please. Four sugars? Yeah, I've got to be sweet. Rebecca's being playful. It looks like she's finally enjoying herself. Where are you from, then? Mm, nice. Are you going to stay long? Or? It's uh... Because it's just... I mean, I suppose it's just that and what you've just measured. It looks like Rebecca oh, is starting to really unsettle Anna. What do you want there? Do you want glass? 